It's a busy Tuesday night for the St. Paul Highland Neighborhood Baseball Association. The fields at the Ford plant site on Cleveland Avenue are full of kids, full of excitement. For St. Paul baseball enthusiasts, this is a hopeful sign. Baseball tradition runs deep in the capital city, and no one wants to see that disappear. Are the numbers down in St. Paul to a point where some playgrounds aren't fielding teams? Yes, absolutely. Billy Peterson should know. The 82-year-old St. Paul baseball legend, with a field named after him, coached kids for over 60 years. He's seen baseball interest trending down in some places in St. Paul. In fact, the Midway Youth Baseball program he used to run for decades shut down this summer due to lack of numbers. It's a slow moving thing and we don't slow move anymore. We gotta go here and go there and go quick. Yes, it appears sadly, even youth baseball's pace of play is one factor in whether kids want to participate or not. There was a time when St. Paul's baseball royalty was front and center. This iconic picture from the 1985 All-Star Game at the Metrodome features St. Paul natives Jack Morris, Dave Winfield, and Paul Mullen. From that picture, and years later, to these plaques, all three now enshrined in the National Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown after amazing MLB careers. What does it say, Dave, about St. Paul? that three guys within miles of each other make it to the Baseball Hall of Fame. There are just certain times and places um, the magic happens. And it happened for St. Paul, Minnesota, and it happened for all of us guys. Especially Winfield, who many feel is the greatest athlete ever for Minnesota. The former Oxford playground legend and St. Paul Central high star actually played basketball for the Gophers and was a superstar in baseball. Remarkably, Winfield in 1973 was drafted by four professional teams in three different sports. The Vikings in football, Atlanta Hawks in the NBA, Utah Stars in the ABA, and the San Diego Padres in baseball. This is a Channel 11 interview from 1973. When you get down to negotiations uh, in the four teams, will money have a big factor to play in it? Well, definitely. That's what, um, that's what it's all about, you know, uh, security, your future, and uh, finances will, you know, definitely be a big part. Dave chose baseball and the Padres and never looked back. That was a dream of ours to play, you know, wanted to play Major League Baseball. So. Older brother Steve played baseball with Dave for Billy Peterson at Oxford Playground in the 1960s. And the Winfields weren't alone. When baseball really became big for me is when I got under the tutelage of Bill Peterson over there on Oxford Playground. Paul Molitor was in eighth grade when Winfield was a senior in high school. Molitor honed his fundamentally sound skills under Peterson as well. We're proud of it. We're all kind of the same belief that, you know, we came from a little town that nobody really cared about in baseball, and look at, we all made it pretty nice. Jack Morris is right. The it's incredible to think it. about. The Winfields grew up on Carroll Avenue. Paul Molitor blocks south on Portland Avenue. Morris lived on Saratoga Street, less than two miles southwest of Molitor. And if you factor in twin star Joe Maurer, who appears on the Hall of Fame ballot for the first time in January, you possibly could have four players from St. Paul in Cooperstown. And not even Joe, as a t-ball star, with that sweet swing growing up on North Lexington Parkway, could have ever dreamed of that. Have you let yourself think about what could happen in January? Um, to be honest, yes and no. Um, yeah, it would mean a lot to me, my family, to um, a lot of people. And, um, but, you know, it's kind of out of my hands. No matter what happens in January, all four credit a strong St. Paul Park and Recs Department for their early baseball success. Part of the lore of being from 
St. Paul is knowing that you have that baseball greatness, that lineage. And the question would be, who's next? Well, in baseball, nobody gets a full ride. St. Paul baseball nobody. historian Frank White. Is there a chance that there's a potential fifth Hall of Fame player in St. Paul somewhere out there? I would hope so. I'm, I'm hoping it's somebody we, we don't even know, right? Because that'll mean maybe the, the game isn't dying. It's true, the path is more uncertain for the next Hall of Fame baseball player from St. Paul, but then that's the beauty of baseball. You never know what's going to happen. It's why you play the game.